Hello, I'm Lance Zimmerman with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Prices for all classes of cattle, as well as feedstuffs, have changed considerably this summer. Summer drought conditions throughout the United States pushed corn prices higher since the spring. Also, fed cattle prices typically move seasonally lower through the early summer months. The cumulative effect of these price changes resulted in weaker demand for calves and feeder cattle, and prices in these markets dropped. A dollar per head interpretation of the price changes can put things in perspective. On a U.S. average, cattle producers received $138 per head less from each 550 pound steer sold the week before Labor Day compared to June 1st. A 750 pound steer returned $104 less. Fed cattle prices have returned to being mostly steady compared to three months ago. However, fed prices have rebounded $7.50 per hundredweight since establishing a $115 low in mid-July. Even utility-grade cull cows generate $136 per head less in U.S. sale barns compared to the start of summer. Feedyard corn costs on a per head basis escalated the most this summer due to supply concerns. Corn costs are currently $155 per head more today compared to June 1st. Looking ahead, seasonality will dictate which markets see the most price improvement this fall. Fed cattle prices have the best opportunity for improvement going forward, and feeder cattle prices should also see improvement in the short term. Unfortunately, price increases for calf and cull cow markets will be more limited as larger fall supplies pressure prices, and corn price changes will be decided by available supplies. Trade in the fed cattle market had yet to develop at recording time. Current undertones suggest that prices could be as much as $1 to $2 per hundredweight higher. Feeder cattle and calves, as well as slaughter cows, were all primarily steady this week. Demand for all classes of feed yard replacement cattle remains high. Cattle feeders continue to look for cattle to fill pens, and stockers are seeking lightweight cattle for winter grazing programs. Box beef values ended the week price steady to higher as lighter production from the holiday shortened week supported prices. And corn values were even to softer for the week as the market anticipates the upcoming USDA crop production report released on Wednesday. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. For more than 40 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, become a member at CattleFacts.com.